everybody, and welcome to another complete set review. I am here live with Brad Nelson. Hi. Oh my God. It's always Brad. Brad's the man. It, I am. I'm not so much the man. No, you're not. He's totally the man. I am. He's the younger, better Magic Plane version of myself. If you didn't know that. Yeah, go on, brush your shoulders off. <laughs> so we are here with Return to Ravnica. Yes. Seven years in the making. Yes. I'm ready. Ravnica. What? Return to it. Ravnica 2. Ravnica harder. <laughs> Stronger, faster. Yes, absolutely. Rebuild from the ground up. We begin today. When I, well, what we're going to do before we get started is we're going to do this by guild, and we're going to get started with Azorius, and that means Judge's Familiar. Wow. Best spike tail hatchling ever? I mean... Not close? Yeah, but that's kind of like saying, like, smartest person in a room full of Brad Nelsons. Oh. It's, uh, not, it's not that. It's not it's like, what you did there. Yeah. He's a smart guy. <laughs> What about this guy? You think this guy is actually going to do some some work in Legacy? Um, That's no. why I sort of have the highest hopes for this guy. Yeah, like he does have a decent ability, but like Curse Catcher is already played, and you want your creatures to get benefits from your other creatures. Well, wasn't the issue always that like Stacks now got this because it was white, right? They don't care about Curse Catcher, Curse Catcher rather being blue. They just care that this one is white. Yeah, having an ability for like just playing a, a white drop in the early game right. that does this is potentially good and like. Maybe Maverick would like want something like this against like a show and tell. I don't think so. But like if you're trying to set something up, like it can get tested, but I don't think it's just powerful enough. Just because it is just a one one flyer for white or blue and magic cards are good now. Magic cards are really good now. <laughs> yeah. The spells are not as good and yeah. the creatures are way better. So, you know, these big huge spells that this thing we're supposed to be stopping is more or less sort of confined to older formats. Yeah, I mean, maybe modern might want it, but like you already have Spell Pierce and Delver of Secrets. Uh, and, but hey, 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 we don't have to say Delver of Secrets and Standard anymore. It sucks. Does it suck? It sucks. It sucks so bad. Yeah, now we just oh say modern. God, please suck, Delver. We hate you. Yeah, modern and legacy, that's it. Delver, uh, I've been trying to make Delver good and standard just because we want to know where it's at. Right. And it's just bad. You kind of have to try, but yeah. yeah. You have to naturally flip it, and you only have 20 spells. And Well, for me, like, what, what do we feel about this card in Limited? <laughs> it, it's a one. Man, it's a flying man. I and mean, you know, it's a it's a suntail hawk. It it does have evasion, and it, it can it, carry equipment. And it does have evasion, but I don't think it's going to be good and limited, just for the fact that it is just a one one for one. And like, right. they are making one ones for one better, so you can play with them. They worked as hard as they could to make them playable. Yes, but they're still one ones for one. <laughs> oh yeah, but you know, but like, I know when it was first spoiled, like people were just like wigging out, you know, like oh my god, I can't believe this is both blue and white. Well, just that's because it was a Return to Ravnica card that just spoiled. They could have literally just spoiled <laughs> Dark Steel <laughs> Relic, and we'd be like, oh my god, we're in Ravnica. Oh jeez, it's all colors. All right, so Judges Miller is fine. New Prof Guild Mage. Now they didn't want to reprint the Guild Mages. Yes, and they made them harder to cast. Mm -hmm. Do they have better abilities this time? I thought yes the last one no. was pretty good. Yeah, the, the last ones were really good, but these are like more interesting, and, and they're definitely format-defining. Like, mm. Depending on the format, that's what they use for their abilities, right? and that's what I like. Like, There is a lot of flyers, but they're, they're really just in blue and white, and there's not a ton of reach creatures, mm. so giving a guy flying out of blue-white might actually just be awesome. That's fair, and also like what, the detain mechanic sort of shows up here for the first time in terms of our review. How do you feel about detain at this point? Detain as a mana sink for this guy is absurd. So like in limited mana sinks are always like the best thing ever mm -hmm. because you get to use your mana later in the game. Like, like when you flood out you have things yeah. to do. Or like just in the late game when you're in a top deck where you're going to draw land and each players are just like draw, trying to draw as many spells. Mm -hmm. So when you have a guy in play that you can use your mana with, mm -hmm. being able to lock down their guys is retarded. Jeez. It's just so good. So his like late game ability to just be a mana sink is so impressive because most of them are like make a 1-1 one, one and chump block or something but you can like stop it from attacking and blocking and hit them because it's your next upkeep that is so so good like that's main, pretty terrific yeah main phase one you get to you get to make it not attack and block this is like way better than just like a tap effect where it's like well i can make it not block and attack but this time you can be more aggressive and make it not attack and then block which means you just get to use your mana more aggressively sure. and not wait that extra half turn. I think that Detain is going to be probably one of the best, if not the best, mechanics that come out because I think right now Overload is getting all the attention, you know, in terms of the guild mechanics. Mm -hmm. Everyone's really excited about Overload, but I think Detain just sort of like, you know, it, it just sneaks up on people. I think Detain is going to be the, be the best limited 
mm -hmm. ability, but I don't think it's constructed. I think Overload with the rares is just unbelievable. They pushed it in the rares. Cyclonic Rift, it's like, oh, I'll people you. Yeah, you get to keep your lands, but it's going to take you three turns to play all your spells. Still and all these Rakdos returns. Yeah, nice 21 land deck. Arr. Search Warrant. There you go. So you gain life, you go to the number of cards in that player's hand. It's a Jataxian probe that costs infinitely more than Jataxian probe. It is not probe. a probe. It is not a probe. What's going on with the Jataxian probe cost? Infinite. Yeah, where's the clause that you draw a card that it replaces itself? Ah, oh, gosh. No, don't play this card. It'll feel bad. You know what I like about this card? No. The, the flavor. Sure, yeah, yeah. There you go. You're just like, nothing. Wait a minute. It's yeah, pretty flavorful. Flavor. Yeah. Do you know what I like about this bad card? The flavor. Because <laughs> when and you run out of options. Cut. Ah, <laughs> next card. Don't spend too much time on it. Skymark Rock. A 3-3. Three, three. When it attacks, you return target creature defending players. Uh, player controls with toughness two or less to its owner's hand. It's awesome. That card is pretty nuts and limited. Yeah, it... It beats all the other flyers. That's what I love. It's like you get the flyers out of the way because most flyers in this set are like two power. It kills the spider. Like, wow. that's great. Like, the green has, well, it's not a spider. Why'd you take giant spider away from us, wizards? Oh, no, no spiders. But it, you know, it also triggers on attack, not like after blocks, not when it deals damage, yes. none of that stuff. Like, you just attack and then bounce your thing. Yeah. You get tons of tempo. You get to sort of control the board with yeah. it. This, this guy's like a first pick. I think he's amazing. Like, he deals with a lot of the defending uh, cards for flyers, mm -hmm. so he, like, protects himself in that way, that he's just going to get damage in. And I don't know why, but I love the two white-blue mana cost. Mm. It's a 3-3 three, three for four mana cost, two different colors. It's I don't value. know why. It's just, it's just, like, the perfect mana cost for a great ability. I love it. It's I love so three good. threes for four. And the flavor text is awesome. Try not to look guilty. Or delicious. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Archon of the Triumvate. Now, this guy is one of the guild leaders. Yes. He's one that you can play with in the pre-release. It's the coolest. I cannot wait for this weekend where we all have uh, like our guild leaders and we all just battle. We got a little letter from the guild leaders like, hi, thanks, going on. <laughs> totally sweet. You know, thanks for being you. And this guy, like, I'm pretty sure if he attacks, like, they're in, they're in big trouble. They're, yeah. It's really hard to lose once he's attacking. Yeah, he's probably the best general uh, or the best guild leader for sure. the pre-release. So I think a lot of people are going to play just for how powerful he is. Right. But, I mean, I can't give get rid of my Golgari. I, <sighs> you I, just like that 4-4 four, four for 4, the Corpse like, Jack. Yeah, and plus I like um, Scavenge as an ability for That's Limited because you just get into these grindy board states and you, you like, value. get value. Yeah, and I'll you get trade, a ton of value with him. And then I'll do this yeah. and whatever. And also the 7 mana, which is, you know, very much on top of the curve versus mm -hmm. other guild leaders, which are cheaper. Even the, the hypersonic dragon, you know. It's just a very fast flying dragon. Extremely yeah. quick and painful. Yeah, his ability isn't that good, but how this, good is this guy in limited? Like, in terms of, you know, like, first pick, is he just like, uh, does he push you into Azorius? You know what I'm saying? Like, how excited do you get when you see this guy? All right, back? so whenever Archon of whatever <laughs> you pronounce that attacks, detain up to two, two permanents. So what, what detain does is it stops two permanents from doing anything forever. Anything Because forever. you can attack every turn and stop those two permanents. Yeah, yeah. So you know how like they have a good creature and you have a good creature? Mm -hmm. And your good creature stops their good creature from being a good creature? And they can't even use their abilities because they're detained? Yeah. Seems awesome. It seems very All good. All right, <laughs> seems absolutely terrific. Okay, so Azorius Arrester, which Ooh, awesome. uh, the word Arrester, for what it's worth. Arrester. I mean. I mean, I guess. He who arrests. I will, um, and then and then when you play the game, you're like, uh, yeah, that can't attack because that's the arrestee. Yeah. <laughs> he's arrested. <laughs> yeah. Yep, hauling him off to jail. When he enters the battlefield, he's just two one for two, doing value, doing work. Yeah, he, he's, he's fine. Like, he can, uh, the reason I like this is so my limited strategy, and, and let's sit down and have a little limited lesson with Brad Ew, Nelson. let's do it. Ew, get, <laughs> get a little monocle on. Discuss. The old limited strategy. Do you feel like we should play this like on the curve, or is this a guy you sort of hold back to where you know you get in a board state where you finally just like our rester, stop your best guy, and then get you? You, you do both because uh, I like not trading my bears with each other. I like building up board positions and sealed. Mm -hmm. So what he can do is like my opponent's playing aggressive bear. I can just stop it from attacking, and it gives me enough time to put a through through into play. And now it can attack. Nice. So now I have more power on the board. So when they play their big fatty the boards get really complicated. Okay. It's like an edge I have against like less skilled players sure. because you can't beat their bombs, but you can if you have 30 power. 
<laughs> well, they can, you can give them the opportunity to misplay. Exactly. And you can't, if you just go trade, 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 they play 6-6. Six, six, you're like, ah, well, I don't know what to do anymore. So now I love this card because you can just play in a turn 2, force their bear not to attack. You don't take that extra 2. Because I have many times went, play a guy, don't block, don't attack. You mm -hmm. know, because I can't attack into your guy, but I don't want to trade bears. Sure. So... I love this guy just for the fact that it helps me set this board uh, situation up. Mm -hmm. So I love this ability. And yeah, late game, it's just a tempo boost of being able to stop their one blocker, hit them, and then block their attacker. Mm -hmm. So you can just get a huge tempo boost with this format. So he's not so much constructed, but <laughs> in limited, he should be doing some serious work. Yes, he is, he, is, he is going to make the cut. He's not like a 23rd playable. No, this no, is, no. This guy's good. Like, this on is your like curve, very good. He's the guy you want yep. for sure. Now, Azorius Charm, my pick for best constructed charm. Uh, I think it is the best main deckable constru uh, constructed charm, but caveats. I do have to say, anyone from Wizards listening to this, I am sorry for making fun of this card. The first time I saw it, I was like, draw a card, what a cop out. You guys are horrible. <laughs> what kind of job are you doing? <laughs> but I found out it is a tempo charm, and when you need tempo, blue white needs to draw a card sometimes. Uh. So having the ability to draw a card is very, very reasonable. But the other two abilities are so good. I mean, it just it wrecks things like Delver that need to flip and you put it on top of the library. Like, you know, gaining all that life absolutely is the tempo play. Oh, and it, like it was, you're going back and forth, you're going back and forth. All my guys have lifelink. Now you're very much behind in the race. Yeah, and one of the coolest situations is Jerry's only out is to draw Bonfire. But he can't block. So I have to keep blockers back. But I get to tech my tutus into his Restoration Angel because it just gives me another turn <laughs> of not getting bonfired. And then he loses nice. the race. So he like has to take my damage. And then I just like gain all the life. So I'm like, if you bonfire, I'm at like 40 life now. Yeah, we're okay. It was awesome. Like I love this card. It is wow. so good. Uh, draft it. Time ebbs are actually very good and limited. Plus yeah. the lifelink ability is so oh. big and limited. I think that's going to be the real winner in limited. Because, you know, yeah. limited is a lot of, like, I hit, you hit, I hit, you know what I mean? And there's this sort of flow, oh, yeah. and then you just, bam. And you get to run the Submerged Thought Scour plan with Azuri's Charm and Constructed. Oh, and it, so it dirty. It is the most, yeah, it's a feel bad. It's like, you're not actually doing anything, like, worse, like, in card advantage, hmm. but it makes people feel so bad. It's like, put that on top of your library, like, man, now I have to draw that, and then you Thought Scour, and then like... Man, now I don't get to draw it? No! <laughs> it's almost as good in Legacy when they brainstorm and they put back the two and you go, you can yeah. mail those if you want, it's okay. Yeah, you go, you, they don't fetch and then you're like, oh, all right, now I, do, now I want them. <laughs> yeah, when they have an unflipped Delver and you thought scour, best thing ever. Yeah. So here are the Guild Gates. Now yep. they reprinted the Invasion Tap Lands mm -hmm. more flavorfully. The art is terrific. Mm -hmm. The card is going to be terrific and limited. I don't think these hit Constructed. Do you think these hit constructed? Oh, yeah, with? for sure they do. Really? Oh, for sure. Is this because of the guy who finds gates or whatever, or is this just because no, like, just for you the, need another... For the duel. Like, for the duel you, action. You, these are not going to hit uh, the most hyper-aggressive decks, but I do think if you're trying to Rancor and Zombies, you're going to want a gate or two, hmm. especially if you're running 12 one-drops, mm -hmm. because they, they fill your curve as well. Hmm. Like, you can go... If you have a one-drop, one-drop, three-drop draw, you can just go one-drop, one-drop, tap land, and then play your three-drop. Mm -hmm. But control decks, like like blue white splash of color control decks that don't really use their turn one are probably going to want to play like a couple of these and not a full set of shock lands because like you remember the control decks they didn't run the full set of shock lands because they would hurt just, themselves too much yeah and and right. that's what is going to go back back to this and any sure. deck that doesn't really just like force to use tempo mm -hmm. or uses removal that's cheaper than the threats that is being cast mm -hmm. is going to just want to put a tap line into play and like on turn three or two, setting up other plays. So sure. like these these gates are going to see play. Um, the gate isn't going to really matter. Like the fact that it's a gate. I hate that flavor. It's like, it's like. Why do you hate that flavor? I love that flavor. Where I want my non basis back. Destroy target gate. No, kill a non basic. Oh good gosh. Yeah, they're probably going to do some destroy target gate or something and, at some point. And my last complaint about them is their art is better than the actual shock lands. <sighs> their art is amazing. Yeah, the art's unreal. But yeah, it, certainly for blue white decks, you know, like it, there is a cost when you pay two life, you know, and then play supreme verdict versus you know maybe waiting a turn and maybe Azorius charm it back to their mm -hmm. library or whatever it is, um, you know, while you can not get damaged from. Lands, so. Oh yeah, and you won't need to worry about the shock lines when you play less, and you just like set up your curve. Set, setting up your deck design for these is going to matter too. Like mm. making sure you have time to put these into play, obviously. Right, and not getting killed by zombies. Dead, no one can do that. The Justicar, Justashar. Am I saying this wrong? J oh, you're asking me. Look, man, I'm Southern. I don't know these things. Justashar. Justashar. What? You're the Omni Science guy, like. 
Dude, omni -sci omni science is omni science. I know this because I know everything. He's, yeah, he knows it all right. Now, the Justicar or whatever, uh, he is, you know, he's twice the arrester. He's a super arrester. Yeah, he's a super arrester. He's awesome. This car is so good. This I car think, could do some work in limited. I think it might see a little constructed, a little what? bit. Detain, detain uh, is a really good answer. Detain's good, and with Restoration Angel. Cloud Shift. Cloud Shift, ooh. Yeah, I don't think this. You're going deep. Like, this card is probably not going to see constructed, but I won't be shocked if it's a sideboard card in a white weenie deck. I won't be shocked for it. Like, I'd be happy to see a white weenie you, deck with this guy in it. If, if the entire game is about playing guys, right. both sides, playing this on turn four is awesome. Stop your messenger and your other guy from attacking and blocking, and I hit you this one time, and then you can't hit me, then I get to hit you again. Right. Or That's if you get impressive. to blink it, yeah. Or if you get to blink it, then they can't block or attack again yeah. and block or attack on their turn again. You know Ma what I mean? Magic isn't like it used to be. Games are going to be over by turn five. This effect is super powerful. I could see it seeing play. Wow, it's very good. And in limited all star. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this guy is nuts in limited. No doubt about it. Now here comes our first key rune. Now yeah. key runes are cool. They wizards had said you know beforehand that they felt that signets were a little too good in yes. terms of you know the fixing slash made everything kind of mid rangey and mm -hmm. didn't make colors matter as much and so if you make it cost one more it gets to tap for its own mana you know sort of uh, uh, its its own guild mana but also becomes a guy yeah I do like it I think they could have juiced the guys a little bit oh come on come on we're living a world without gut shot like that Rakdos thing is going to be sweet I don't this know guy, what the Rakdos does it's a three one first striker. Yeah, but that that one's fair. But like, well, I don't want the blue white ones to be that great. Like blue white's just been spiral ones. Yeah, but blue white's been crushing for so long. Like, do we want blue white to still have like the best key runes and the oh, best no, no, whatever? No. I don't say this one specifically. Oh, you're just talking about key runes in general. All, all all the key runes I think should have been juiced. I think that they're probably better than we're all giving credit for. Like I remember when the World Wake Manlands came out and people just didn't really like them. They didn't think they were that good. And no, now we recognize they're played in Legacy, they're played in everything. Those oh, cards no, are amazing. They're good, but like you look at the old Time Spiral ones, and those were awesome, but they were single color too. True. But they were all just awesome. Oh, like, yeah, they were all terrific and, and very, very yeah. useful. Um, but I just feel like for what it's worth, they're all generally very low to, to activate, aren't they? Just, you know, guild mana, colon, activate something awesome. Like, you know. 2-2 two, two flyer's not bad, but it's It's not boring. great, but again. Why can't it be a 3-3 three, three lifelinker flyer? This guy. Azor's Elocutors, Azor's Elocutors, this guy has the most flavorful ability ever. Yeah. Filibuster counters. Every day I'm filibuster countering. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> sweet. The greatest thing about this card is the moment this got spoiled, Drew Levin's like building a casual deck. <laughs> His political casual deck. Yeah. He works in the political sort of industry, as it were. And, and man, once he saw filibuster counters, that was it. Yeah, he talked he, about, he, I have to play all the rares because they're greedy and they have all the money. Mm -hmm. And I have to play Infect and Proliferate. He has to play Jace the Mind Sculptor because it's sculpting the minds of yeah. the youth. <laughs> it's like, okay, man. You go nuts. This card is one of those, it's like, it's, it's harmless in many ways, but for what it wants to do, just be like flavorful and fun. Yeah, it's like if you don't take damage, you win the game, right? Right. It's just yeah. if a, whatever source deals damage, you have to remove counters and stuff. And you know, at the beginning of your upkeep, you still get to put a counter on it. And the it's this sort of little mini game that you start to play with yourself. And I just it's it's not it's not going to be terrific in any I think uh, limited or constructed format. No. But at the kitchen table, things will be an all star. Oh yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun with proliferate and all that stuff. Like mm -hmm. you're going to be able to have a ton of fun with this card. And I think that's why it was made. And it's beautiful art. Terrific art, and you know, for the Azorius to have you know things with filibuster counters, that's just perfect. Absolutely yeah. perfect. Good job, wizard. Excellent job. Dramatic rescue is a card that you know we. I can start to talk about the flavor now. Yes. <clears throat> because when you start talking about flavor, it's you know it's not always the most exciting of cards, but it is a is a cool card, and uh, you know. No, I. I let's I, you rescue I, things. I really really like this card. Yeah. Uh, for limited, at least. For I, limited, for sure. Yes, unsummons never actually need to cost one in limited. Mm. The the tempo isn't as big, but getting some value out of it for two mana is not a big issue. Right. But gaining some life can be relevant, right. Re especially in the late game. Just bouncing a guy gaining two life. I mean, that's what magic's all about. You can win or lose a game by one life, and just being able to, like, just bounce your guy or their guy. Well, when you bounce, value. like, the Arrestor or the Just Car that yep. we talked about, I mean, like, that's value. End of mm -hmm. your turn, bounce this guy, gain two life, and I get to play this, and your best two creatures can't yeah. do anything. Like, that's a lot of tempo. Again, blue-white being sort of the tempo-oriented color. Yeah, and so, like, rather. just being one more mana I don't think is going to be a huge issue than, like, the Unsummons and Vapor Snags. Sure. But, yeah, I, lo I love the... 
gain two life. I love gaining life in limited mm. because they're cards that can see limited, but they won't see constructed play, and that's what I enjoy out of it, right? Sure. So I love this card. Absolutely. Now, follow the gavel. You know, it's a limited filler. It's a cool card. You gain, it's a gain. It's a life gainer. You're just talking to this right now. This is a card that you would play, I think, in limited, particularly in sealed, because, you know, usually the biggest bomb wins, right? And once yes. you hit five mana, as long as the board's not going crazy or you have some, some stabilization mm -hmm. happening, you just wait for them to play their huge bomb. And then you just counter it and gain life. Yeah, come out of nowhere. Yeah, countering bombs is great, and you can pick up the tempo. Like, mm -hmm. I want to counter spell this turn. Like, the great thing about this is like traumatic visions and things like that. Yeah. Like, it's a feel bad card because you want to counter a spell this turn, or you have a counter spell, but they hit you for five because you don't play anything. Right. But like now you get to gain that life back, so like the game right. actually didn't do anything. Yeah. And so it is good. I've never really liked five mana counterspells at uncommon too, like wasting an uncommon slot on a five mana counterspell. Well, I mean, you know, again, it's, uh, and I think part of it, so it sort of doesn't kind of, you don't see it so often. Yeah, you know, and I don't want to go to jail because of this guy. That guy's scary. He looks scary in his terrific art, though. Amazing mm -hmm. work, Matt. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. They brought him back. What? No one saw it coming. I could not no believe it. No one saw it coming. I at was all. totally shocked. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, for a small amount of time, I think we talked about this in 13, I was absolutely, I would not be surprised at all if they had done something a little different. If they had actually went all the way and gave, given us, you know, dual lands. Like, actual doesn't hurt you dual lands. What? What? It's not that crazy. You mean they give us, yes it is. Look, look, look a, a, a one red, two one goblin that can't block was crazy like five years ago. Or seven years ago, or whatever it was, yeah, like, was actually crazy. Yeah, this is not that crazy. This is just lands yeah. that don't hurt you. Yeah, but if you give that, that's like too good for the game. Making they want to make the game very it's not aggressive. too good for legacy. What? It's not too good for legacy. It's not too good for yeah. But legacy is the old performance. performance. But if standard just gets perfect mana, like look at what happened last time we got perfect mana. It was slow mana, like the oh, vivid lands. Yeah, but that's yeah, but that's perfect slow mana. But also that's. Like, that was also, like, color didn't even matter at that point. Yeah, but if they're going to give us powerful spells and perfect mana and never take any life loss for doing so... I think perfect mana is kind of a stretch. I don't want perfect uh, all mana. All I'm saying is, like, for what it's worth, these lands are terrific. Like, we know this. So yeah. we try to argue a little bit sort of about the other aspects of them, which is <coughs> new players, particularly new players, don't like taking you know pain or, or life loss from their lands. They don't. They see this as actually as a bad thing. You know, they get this in their in their pack and they open it up and oh oh wow, it makes two colors. Like oh, it hurts you. I don't want that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it, and that's why the pain lands left their core set. Yeah, and I trade them my filibuster makers for their hollowed fountains. That's how it works. Because I'm an evil villain. Whoa, oh, 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 twirl, twirl, twirl. But like. You know, all I'm saying is I like Hallowed Fountain. I would not have been surprised if they'd have made, like, you know, Azorius Land dash Plains Island, and it was just straight up duels. Oh, God, but then we would then we could play with multiple duels in, yeah. in Legacy? Why not? You are out of your mind, No, sir. I'm not. Drew even wrote an article about it. Drew Levin wrote an article about it and said that if they had the access to eight duels, they wouldn't even play them. That you don't even need eight duels. Some decks would want them. Some decks, but not all decks. His, uh, that, his point was that it wouldn't be like, like this ridiculous OMG legacy has the best mana of all time because you still want to yeah, play yeah. Wastelands, you still want to play Mute Vaults, you, know, you still mm -hmm. want to play all these non-basic lands that, that do so much for you. There has to be some deck that would want like as many dual lands as possible. I don't sure. know which one it is. And right. I actually think I'm wrong here because fetching for basic actually is the best thing you can do in the format. So I am wrong. He is right, but I still think taking two is correct. It's fine. I'm not certainly not unhappy and, to see Shocklands. And I do love when I Farseek and accidentally click yes and take two and don't get the land done tap. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm a dirty little boy. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Hussar Patrol is next. It's a 2-4 Flash Vigilance. Awesome card. There, there's your mana cost. Yes, and and I love these. I love Flash and Vigilance is a great combination because it's it just is. this card that just puts a wall on them, attacks them, and gets to defend as well. Like, this card is awesome. Mm. I love holding up four mana, and I love tricks that everyone knows you have because there's not mm. a lot of Flash creatures in the format. It's true. So you just like, in your blue-eyed deck, are holding up four, and you're like, come at me, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know what to expect. Because the other guy is just like, does he have it? Does he have it? It's <laughs> like you have a 2-2. Two, two two two? <laughs> yeah, you have a 2-2 two, two and a 3-3, three, three, and they're like, <sighs> attack you with the 3-3, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there'll be some pump spells we'll go over later that you can kill it with. But at its core, I think this card is sweet. Yes. This card is terrific. All right, moving on to Asperia's Skywatch. Yeah, this one is six mana. Like, this feels like 
Um, I forget the name. There was a, there was a card in Ravnica that uh, I'm sure all the people at home will know immediately. The, the um, you, it was like six mana for like a two two, and it put the, a creature on top of its oh, own. Dismissor. Lever. Yes, dismissor. Yeah. Um, Demir, I think it was, or uh, I don't remember. Baldalkin dismissor. Baldalkin dismissor. Yeah. Yep, that's what it was. And uh, that card was you know super underrated. Nobody thought it was any good because it was so expensive, and it ended up being one of like the best cards you could have because of its amazing tempo. And yes. I think Detain just puts all this tempo into a mechanic. Yes, but it's this card is not nowhere near. I mean, the body is obviously better than the dispenser. Uh, the body's but the, fine. The putting a creature on top of the library, the time ebb ability, is mm. what does it. Because you, like, let's say both players have, like, zero cards in their head. Mm. And you put it on top of their library. Now, you know, you get the information for the next two turns. You know what's going to happen, right? right? You get a craft strategy around that. They can't top deck anything. Right. And this guy will allow that. They don't lose any tempo. Like, the detain is actually fixed tempo. Hmm. It, they don't lose it, right? Like if Jace just said, what if Jace's negative one, Jace the Mind Sculptor's was negative a detain one, ability. was just detain. Right. It would be way worse than it is now. This is true. Yeah. But so, it would have actually been fair. Yeah, it would have been a fair card. <laughs> so like putting it in the hand or putting it on top of the library is like way better than detain. It's better. But having white detain, being white and blue, Sure. Like, it's just awesome. Yeah, this for me is just, it's, it's one of those that it sort of, it harkens back to me from dis, for Dismisser because in a way that like, wow, that's really expensive, but I'm like, well, I think you're, you might be discounting mm -hmm. how powerful that detain ability is well, on top of an evasive three power guy. That's just, that's what it is. Like, because it has flying, because it has, is a 3-3, three, three, right. detain is, it equals probably Dismisser as, as value, actually. So, in limited, what, what would you say? Super good, good, uh, fine. Mediocre, like, Seventh, eighth, seventh, sixth, seventh pick. Right. Just because it costs six. Because the cost. Yeah, the mana yeah. cost is so high. You do want to get your sort of your lower. There was a lot of six drops in this format. I think this is going to be a God, one time slow format. One time slow. Uh, I don't think wizards like slow formats that formats that much because if games last too long, they get kind of grueling, mm -hmm. and they put a lot of cards in there to make sure that games do end in some form yeah. of fashion. And uh, I, I've played other card games where you know I didn't really I didn't really appreciate it. To where I played other card games, just like man, this game's going on forever. Mm -hmm. I can't just end it. Whereas uh, Magic has a lot of cards, just like give all your creatures land walk of a certain mm -hmm. type, just to let you end the game yep. in some quick fashion. Um, Asperia Supreme Judge, I love this card. Do you? It's not as good as Consecrated Sphinx, but I just love the, I love what it does to a game. Sure. It, if it, it doesn't die, it's like really awkward to attack and like. There's a mini game that starts the yeah, instant exactly. it hits the battlefield. Yeah, and if. If they're on the aggressive and you play this guy and you get card advantage out of him, plus he's a 6-4, so if it can block like the 3-3 three, three and like live. I, I also think it might be a good Miracle Cyborg card because like sever the bloodline and things wow. kill all your entreats, so you have to have a threat. Now there is no good threat for Blue White for, for like the Miracle deck. Sure. So like I think he is the best one. He's good. Um, I, you know, six mana for six power of flying, I mean, he more or less just says they don't attack. I mean, yep. he just says like they have to, they either have the Mizium Mortars or they have, you know, some removal spell and, or they have the murder or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Because if you attack into this guy, particularly with multiple creatures, yep. and you're not alpha striking, Something's probably gone wrong, and you're probably no way you're winning that game. No, because then you untap and you're like, oh look, I have seven <laughs> cards again. <laughs> oh my God. All these what, cards. What are my options? Woo! So good, and the art is an absolute I just, knockout. The worst feeling about this card is, what do you have to take Gideon away? Oh, oh wow. Gideon! Gideon! Five drop, him. six drop. Look at you, greedy. And guess what? You have to attack The me. card's not good enough on its own. It like, isn't. Have you played Magic in the last year? This is nowhere near. Oh, you've just enough. been spoiled. Now, Liev, Sky Knight. I've actually seen this. Wasn't there like a one-of in some constructed decks that people have been posting on premium? Like as a, just again, yep. just as a one-of. You know, just sort of on the curve to help you sort of delay things. Particularly, I can imagine, you know, again, zombies. They're it's, like sort of the default aggro deck right now. It, they're the deck right now. Yeah. I'm actually, I'm a, just so you guys know, I am on the zombie bandwagon. I, I am a zombie player now. You're riding it. You're I did. It. I got bit, and I turned into one. <laughs> <laughs> so the Sky Knight, I mean, three mana for a three power flyer with the Tain. I mean, we were just talking a second ago about six mana for a three three flyer. Yeah. This is just, this is half the cost. Same power, same evasion, same ability. I believe this is going to be first pickable. This card seems fantastic. Yeah, I think I think this is one of the like big cards in limited. Mm -hmm. I think uh, a weak pack like this is definitely just the pick. You're like, all right, I'm going to go Azir's and try to be detained, and 
just having the ability to stop a creature, the turn it comes into play, but then still just be evasion, so aggressive. Like a 3-1 for 3 is already good. Oh, like man. we've had 3-1s for 3 that's see yeah. play. That can't even block ground pounders. It's true. And we played them. Doesn't matter. And this guy can like block, he can like disrupt uh, a game plan. Mm -hmm. He's beautiful. He does all the work. Now martial law is wow. <laughs> this is this oh is like God. my favorite flavor card of the set. It is really terrific. I think it might even be a cyborg card. Look, what I love about this card is that you do is just like mm, you this turn. Like <laughs> you, yeah, it's just yeah, it is it's martial law. It's so flavorful. You just it's pull just, them right out yep, of the crowd. Nope, you do nothing. Yeah, you are in jail now. No, you are in jail now. As well as like think of like a control deck against an aggressive deck. Mm. After cyborg. You don't want to overextend against their wrath effects. Right. So like martial law plus like the threat of a, a mass removal spell mm -hmm. is like actually sweet. Wow. Yeah, I think this card could see some standard play in like a very defensive, very like right. Oh, I can't beat this Druff's Messenger. All right, I guess I lock it down every turn. Does nothing. Does nothing. Does nothing. Yeah, I think this is definitely can see some constructive play. I agree, and I think that it's cards like these that make uh, one of the abilities of Golgari Charm destroy target enchantment. Because mm -hmm. this card just like wrecks that whole deck, particularly multiples. Like if you have multiples this oh. card out, it's dirty. It's dirty. And then you like Supreme, you know, Supreme Verdict and. Good luck. Never yeah. attacking me ever well, again. No, then you spring verdict. like, finally, my drafts messengers aren't detained anymore. Hit ya. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair. But either way, one of the best flavorful cards, one of, uh, uh, certainly a limited all star. <laughs> you high five so your buddies. Good. Yeah, when you get yeah. to play this thing. Righteous Authority, that, that card is awesome Which and you limited. Be. You know, it's. Uh, yeah, it makes the guy bigger and makes you draw cards. I mean, Whoa. what's not to like? Yeah, that card's sweet. I, I love card abounding spells, like being able to give like plus two, plus two to a card and like gain. Is there any shroud? I don't think there's much shroud. There's a little bit of hexproof, um, I think, in or green. Or hexproof, yeah. Yeah, in green, I think there was a hexproof guy. Um, but, you know, what I also like about this card is that if you're in a blue white mirror, like whether they detain your creature or not, you're still going to get to draw the yep. card. Which is awesome. Like this card has to be answered. It is an awesome rare. You know, it's you, you know you have to pay for it. It's five mana. Oh, Did you get and one of the benefit? Powerpuff Dragons? You could use it with the Powerpuff Dragon. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the name. Powerpuff. The Powerpuff Dragons from uh, uh, from the Hell Vault, and they broke out, and Avison had the Powerpuff Girls. Like oh, uh, uh, we had we had Sigarda. Right. Blue white one, which is the one I'm talking about, and right, and the red white one. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the Gisela Blade of Good Night and that type. Or yeah, but it's Gold the blue Knight, white whatever. one that you get all the enchantments. Yes, 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 yes. The one with the wall of text. Yeah. I remember Someone this probably has this deck bill. Let me know how it does. As they totally should. But ultimately, Super Bomb and Limited. Super Bomb. It's a card advantage spell that pumps a guy. Of course, it's a Super Bomb. Yeah. All right. So, but constructed. No. Yeah. Are you kidding me? That's the I mean that but that's sort of what I like about these cards. Like, you know, they, they won't work in constructed, but they yeah. are actual all stars and limited. Well yeah, they or do casual. make they do make a lot of casual limited cards and constructed only cards. Like Yeah. Well I mean as they should. Yeah. You don't want every casual all star to be a standard all star. Though sometimes Let's they speak are. of casual limited and constructed all star. Mm, Sphinx's revelation. I got a revelation. This card's awesome. This card is disgusting and you should feel bad for making it wizards. Wow. This well, card is so good. Well, the thing is, everybody's just like, Blue Sun Zenith, Blue Sun Zenith. I'm like, Blue Sun Zenith didn't pull you back out of an unwinnable no. race. You know, this card this just like... This card gives you a reason to play Gilded Lotus. Ugh. Oh, I'll take some extra damage to turn on Gilded Lotus and... Gain it all back. Gain eight life and draw eight cards. Like, Blah. that's just it. Like, good when you winning. draw a bunch of cards, when your opponent draws a bunch of cards, you feel bad, but you already get to see, like, the game changing. The board hasn't oh, changed, yeah. but now you get to gain a bunch of life and... All that work that they had just done to try to get you so low, eh, not so much. And now their hand is full of just removal, their hand is yeah. full of answers, threats, the whole bit. And when you play it against someone that doesn't, hasn't seen it played yet, and they're like, oh, what? and you gain life too, and you're like, yeah, you, you see this? <laughs> that's this, the this, best part. You're like, yeah. and I'm gaining five. And, and you just like, show them the picture, and you're like, yeah, that's me right now. <laughs> Little rays of yeah. kick your ass just coming yeah. out right there. That's what that is. <laughs> that card is sweet. Should be an all star. Now, Supreme Verdict. Terrific. Going I mean, to be a format definer. What? Not this one. Why? I think it's going to be, I think the format that it's going to be best in is modern, potentially legacy. Well, legacy, I think, actually, for sure. Yeah. Because of so many forces and dazes and blah, yeah. blah, blah. But, you know, in standard, there's no day of judgment. But this is what you got. You don't. 
I don't think Day Judgment is good enough in standard. Because of Undying? Because of zombies, yeah. Because of Undying regeneration. You now, if they rats? made Wrath of God, but not Day of Judgment, because it can't regenerate. The troll is going to be a big uh, card. That lot of troll is just going to define You have trolls, you have, you have uh, Restoration Angels, Thrag Tusks. Uh, I even, like, a lot of people haven't really talked about it, but Strangrove Geist is going to be a good card again. Yeah. Um, Grave Crawler, Blood Artist, like, the format, you, ca you can't control standard. And everyone's like, like, a lot of people send me messages message, like, Brad, what's the best control deck? What's the best control deck? And I'm like, locks it on Smiter. <laughs> well, I mean, Wizards, you know, I also think have, you know, very uh, uh, deliberately tried to make control not that great. You know, Are you they, kidding me? I'm so glad. I'm, well, I'm they glad want, about this. Right, well, they, yeah, they want guys. They don't yeah. want spells to be the best thing. They want creatures to be the best thing. Yeah. And they have certainly gone a long way to make that true. And I am happy because... What are my best finishes? Mm -hmm. Doran, mm -hmm. Mono Green Beats. I'm happy about this. I, I want to go back to just dudes. Smash, and smash, smash, smash. Yeah. yeah. That's what I want. I love it. Like, I don't you, want to forbid an alchemy. See, and you see me in the office. I'm just like, oh my god, my zombie deck is so good because I can do this and this and this. And like, I've Supreme, seen a zombie deck. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. The Supreme Verdict is awesome and it's going to be good in the formats where you can counter things because mm -hmm. it can't be countered and like that's a huge impact to those formats sure but in standard terminus is by far the best removal spell fair enough because it bends all the guys they're all gone would you not want to run both though at least maybe a one or two of the supreme verdict i mean my control decks actually have been like one supreme verdict just so i have access to it right. but it hasn't been good but like four terminus but yeah. You know, probably, I don't know, all I'm saying is I, I think I Supreme Verdict is because it's a it's fine, fine card. It's the best. If, if you actually want to beat Magic with this card, you have to go Rest in Peace Supreme Verdict. Wow. That's what you got to do. Yeah. Right, rest in Peace. We'll get to that shortly. Oh. So Tower Drake is next. 2-1 Flyer for 3. Pumps its toughness. Yeah, it's fine a fine card. Great card. It's aggressive in the early turns, defensive in the late. Uh, these are just, like, great Magic cards. Right. I, I've, I've loved it. I mean, we've had this card before. Right. This was from Invasion, I think. Yep. Right. Yeah, we've had this card before. I, I love the effect. It's good. It's just nothing that there's nothing to write home about, but in limited, you'll be happy to run it. Oh, yeah. And, and it'll do some work and win some games for you. Yeah. Two one flyers for three, play them. Always. Speaking of, two two flyer for three. This card is, I love this card. It, like, I do. Windrake is not a good magic card. It's okay. fine, right? I it's, mean, it's even worse than Windrake for what it's worth. It isn't. Because it's, it's two color and a color. So, you no, know, it's better. It can go in either color. Because you can be a white green deck with the flyer. It gives access to different. Colors, which right. I love about it. Sure, it's just a more flexible Windrake. It is a little bit worse for how to how to cast it, mm -hmm. but I love that it's white or blue and it's a mediocre. I just lo I love the subtlety of the design of it. I, right. I think they were really um, hesitant to to put too much hybrid mana. I think in the mm -hmm. set. I've seen. For me, it feels like they they really sort of held back a little bit on the hybrid mana stuff, and and so when they do use it, you're like, oh wow, this lets you know blue X decks be awesome and yep. white X decks be sweet. You know, have have. Uh, play from from both sides essentially. Oh yeah, I mean that that actually makes. I haven't thought about that. That makes sense. Yeah. The more you know. All right, detention sphere. It's finally here. Oh my god! <laughs> we got oh to one god. of the best blue white cards of all time. Of all time. Yeah. I'm gonna let you close. finish. <laughs> this is yeah. one of the best blue white cards of all time. <laughs> I cannot believe. It. I remember we're all in the office, you know, and we're just sitting there and like, oh, they, they, you know, new, new sport of detention sphere. And then someone's like, what's it do? And she's like, best blue ring of all time. And we're like, what? And then you read it and you're like, yeah. Card is amazing. Like, you want to talk about like a metagame scalpel? Just cut out those grape crawlers and get out of here, oh, Dross yeah. Messenger. Yeah, no, this card is ridiculously good. But the, my favorite thing, Jerry and I were spending all the time. Mm. So we were actually building a deck, a blue white control deck. Okay with Oblivion Rings when it got spoiled and, 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 and someone came out and told us about this card and we're like, it does what? And then, but then our, our minds went wandering. It's like, oh, you can't target it. So, so every week people are going to switch between this and Oblivion Rings and play different copies because hmm. if you're the player with the Oblivion Rings and they're the player with the Detention Spheres, mm -hmm. um, you can, like, if you just have Detentions, you can't touch their Detention Spheres. Sure. So like not named detention spheres. So if you so play right like three detention spheres, two oblivion rings, you can get into weird like you can kill their detention or you can kill their permanents with your detention spheres, but you can kill their detention spheres with your oblivion rings. Ugh. 
So you don't want to run like four Oblivion Rays, right, but I, you definitely <laughs> want to play some combination when you're in the permanent blue-white mirrors. I have a feeling that Wizards did not really want that to be the case. That they didn't want there to be like this dance of like Oblivion Rings and the Tension Spheres and you have it, you know, Why not? Right? It's I, awesome. No, no, but I think literally that, that, that clause is on there so you can't create infinite loops like you could before. Well, I understand that, but There was the classic LSV magic. Breaks Moto like video yeah, yeah. where he just like, <laughs> two Oblivion Rings, F6. Ah! <laughs> yeah, watch the, watch the client kill itself. Like, <laughs> you know, and that's great, but like now there's this weird dance of, God, I didn't even think about this. That's so awesome. Awkward. It is. It's it's really really awkward actually. I'm, I'd actually be way better with infinite loops than I would be like now I have to play no, this number of detention you spheres can't and have this infinite number of oblivion loops. rings. Because of what it says. Okay, so here's the thing. You play detention sphere on permanent A. Right. And then he plays permanent B C, and then you play detention sphere on your own detention sphere. Remove both. Bring them back and target B C. Then all of a sudden, does that hit A too? No. No no no. A comes back. Right. But you just kill off. Two different permanents. Your detention spheres can get picked up and target new permanents. So it's like you can just you can always if you have four detention spheres and oh, they you can just have each a other, sort of like you, you know, can you can always just back. eat eat the worst cr card on their play. There's no skill involved. There's no like waiting for a better permanent. It's like oh that's a one one for one and I have three mana kill it. And then next turn they play two cards. And I'm like oh those are better than the one pick one it up, kill both those. Do the thing. Play another third detention sphere. Pick them all up. Kill three different permanents. Uh, is that worse or better than the Oblivion Ring Dance? The Oblivion Dance is subtle, and no one's really gonna. Oh, like, it, I mean, like it's subtle now, but like you know, months in, we're gonna be seeing this be like I think an actual thing. Yeah, I do. And not, not that that's a terrible thing. All I'm saying is like there, are, there's obviously two ways to go here. One is you know you have multiple detention spheres. If they have something that kills enchantments, you know it can sort mm -hmm. of wreck that plan. But you know you also have this dance that that suddenly occurs. I think the dance is sweet. I think this card's sweet. Well, the card is sweet, and I just I mean, oh. I. You so know good. what? You know what? Ever since I moved here, I have loved the art, and I start doing the set reviews, and I say I love the art, and I think I say it too many times, but this art is sweet. Really? You don't like it? It's not that I don't like it. It's just that I feel there's way better pieces. Like I think you know, Asperia or a. Uh, well, yeah, there's better, better pieces. Like I understand that those are, but like for the flavor of the card, I love it. Just for the flavor of the card, I agree. It is it is terrific. Yeah. Um, now this is a card that Jerry I think was really high on. Yes. In action injunction. And it reminds me of Spreading Seas, mm -hmm. uh, a sort of a two mana card that cantrips that does like a sort of a minor a minor thing, but can do just enough to where it you know it, it sort of gets you where you want to be. It's just like I just need this one turn yeah. for this one thing to stop working, and then I can sort of keep moving. I wish it said up to one creature. Yeah. Oh, so you can cycle it. Yeah. I really wish you could just cycle it. Greedy. Greedy. So yeah, I am greedy. very greedy. Uh, but it is a cool ability just to like hit their guy and draw a card uh, in the early turns just to like stop two damage. Or right. when you're in like a tempo deck with a Snapcaster Mage, you can like kill like a guy to get your Geist through. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's, it's also cool. important this is a sorcery. Yes. Like, they didn't instant make it an would, instant. Instant would be disgusting. Yeah, beginning of your attack, step the tank, that well, guy. But, ah, but draw doing, cards, during, good stuff. during your turn is probably better, right? Because yeah, like, you until get your both, next turn. Yep. That's fair. You get the two entire combat phases mm -hmm. of them doing nothing, but I think you know. I think there was a reason they made it a sorcery, not an instant. You know, because well, because they don't want people to detain at instant speed. It's kind of like giving Eldrazi Crusher must attack, so people do it the right way. True. They don't want him to cast his instant. Yeah. By the way, because it would we'll actually get, feel weird. Probably. If we'll you... get to this card, and I'll talk about it. But there's one card. You guys in the chat comments think of one card that's an instant that is the most ridiculous instant I've ever seen printed ever. It should just be a sorcery for no reason. In the comments, I want to see what you guys think it is. Are we getting there in Azorius or is it another No, one? it's in a different video. But right. Tell me which card, because it is the most retarded instant on the planet. We're moving on. Soul Sworn Spirit. Oh my god. Four mana for a 2-1 unblockable and detain. I feel like... Talk about going up the curve. Like yeah. a Rester and a Sky Knight and a Soul Sworn yeah. Spirit. Like, I'll take it. This one guy that just comes down, this cackler's like... He's like unleashed. Let me in there. Oh, what? A, oh, no, I can't uh, do it. Uh, I can't do it. It won't let me do it. All I can oh. think of is the three. I lose. The three five for seven that has the life link in the hands. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is his like really weak brother. He's coming to get you. He's got big hands too. It's okay. This is this is scary. This is like I don't know what makes this unblockable. I guess those big hands just come slap you. I just, yeah, I, I just, that hurt. <laughs> like I just want. It has two joints. It's 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 uh, triple, triple jointed. It's <laughs> <laughs> just impressive. What happened? It's, it's like, like a mad scientist just like got drunk one your, night. If you're teaching your young child, 
If you're teaching your young child to play this game, do not show them this card. This this will give me nightmares. That is, I haven't seen this card yet. It's scary. They're coming to get you. All right, so that are the end of the Azorius official Azorius cards. Mm. We're going to look at the white cards now. Ooh. Oh, man. The straight-up white cards, the first being Armory Guard. He's got Vigilance while you have a gate. It's cool. I love the flavor of this guy. I like, the, I like the art. He's next to the gate. He's hanging out. You know, he's yeah. doing his job. Yes. It's a guy that does his job for four mana. Why, if he doesn't have a gate, why would he not have Vigilance still? Because he don't got a gate to lean on. So he's slacking. Uh, he, yeah. So he's a slacking guard that needs, yeah. He needs a door. He needs, he needs supervision to work the way he's supposed to. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. Now, Angel of Serenity is amazing. Uh, I love everything about. Oh my God, this card is so. On a scale from one to pushed. What to what? one to Jace the Mind Sculptor. What? Oh, I mean, not okay. as good, but, All right. a, but it's better than train. Toot toot. No, 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 no. In one to pushed, he is more than pushed. He is more than pushed. Or she. Yes. Uh, she for sure. But the five, six for seven, and like uber duper awesome all living right, ring all right. action Let's thing. Let's talk about how awesome this card all is. Right, let's, let's, let's lean back and let's talk about this. The reason I love this card Why is do you like it? it gives you card advantage. You mm -hmm. can get your guys back. Yep. You you kill their guys. Like The best part is like if you're under a lot of pressure, I thought this was a Fiend Hunter. This is so much more. Oh, I actually Lord. In the, you Okay, so I think everyone originally reads it as like yes. a Fiend Hunter or Oblivion Ring. Yeah, like, Jerry played it against me, I killed it, put my guys back, and he's like, no, they're in your hand, dude. And I'm like, what? what? You know. Like, it's so good. You just play it, you kill three of their guys, if they kill it, they have to put them back in your hand so there's no Temple Us. So, so the they have to recast you play all it, of them. Yeah, you get more time. And, like, I think, like, Reanimator decks and Standard are actually going to be a thing mm. because they have enough ways to kill uh, Rest in Peace, which is... The most pushed graveyard hate of all time. Yeah, I mean they pushed it hard, but like sometimes I think you have to. We'll get to yeah. it in a minute. Yeah. But Angel Serenity, like by itself, I mean th this card started at like four bucks. This card started like just What's it up, at now. It's like fifteen. Oh like, man, <laughs> if it started at four, I would have bought a lot. Oh yeah. well, I mean, and people did. That's how people figured out. it was yeah. really good. It's like, why is this card selling out like crazy? Well. You know, the, the initial thought is that it's like a super expensive oblivion, oblivion Ring type thing, and then the more you read it, the more you understand how powerful it is mm -hmm. and how much flexibility it has. If there's an empty board, you're just like, all right, these three awesome creatures from my graveyard will be put in my hand when yeah, you deal with this 5-6 flyer. It could be anti-aggro, uh, but, like, the cool thing is, like, against Control, like, you play him as this big monster, and you put three monsters back in your hand, and, like, right. and once he dies, I get all of this. And the cool thing is they... they Loop with each other. Oh, yeah, because Whoop. they're not. I mean, a they're not legendary anyway. But b yeah. like they do loop each other. Because you can like put one fantastic. underneath it, and then that, when that dies, you can put another one underneath it. Yeah, I think this is one of those cards that, as time goes on, people are going to be more and more impressed with. That I think yes. they're still a little wary of it Cute. right now. Oh, for sure. I already yeah. ordered my foil. <laughs> Got that right. Card is sweat. But yeah, I uh, of all the cards that I think sort of snuck up on people in terms of this set. Um, I think Trostani is the other one. Yes. And we'll get to her. Uh, Angel of Serenity was certainly like the first one. It was yes. unveiled. It was like bulk mythic, whatever. And then time after time after time, article after article was written about her. And then like, whew, now she's up way up there in the price. Yep. Arrest is back. Flavorful I, as all get out. Why couldn't it have had to tan? Oh, come on. Now look, when I got back into Magic from leaving for many, many years, I went to play regionals. Now this was in the middle of Affinity Madness. Affinity was everywhere and it was the best deck ever and so was Tooth and Nail and so was Tooth and Nail Affinity Madigan. Well, I don't care about all that because I'm one of those guys that just like just has a real hard time playing the best deck. And so I played my White Weenie deck mm -hmm. with arrests. And the Tooth and Nail, and I'll never forget this, I was playing White Weenie and the guy Tooth and Nail's out like a Dark Steel Colossus and then I'm just like, arrest. And everyone starts laughing. <laughs> like, all of his buddies behind him, like, ah, this new player arrest. And then I killed him. <laughs> that was a real story. Because <laughs> White Weenie with arrest will definitely kill that. Oh yeah, it was. Why it, didn't he mess with your strike? I he just you know just wouldn't do it. And or I, th I got rid of one of the one of the pieces or something at some I point. I thought you were gonna. Be or, no, it might have been Dampy Matrix, I think, and then he couldn't use the oh, trike. Yeah. But uh, but regardless, arrest was one of those cards that for me always lives in my heart because yeah. it did what I wanted it to do at the time. They thought it was funny, and then I just killed them with it. Yeah, no, I mean arrest is obviously a very good magic card. Sure, uh, and it's like. Great when there's guild guild mages and other ability made creatures. Right. So, 
I mean, it's it's a great card, but I, I definitely won the set came on. I'm like, they're going to make face fetters? That's because what I was like, about to say. Yeah. I really wanted face fetters back, though. The Enchant a Permanent, mm. that was important, and it's even more important in today's Planeswalker rich environment. Yeah. But the problem with that is you can't put Detain on a face fetters. Yeah, okay. Because it, it would stop oh. the basic land. Sure, well, that's fair. I mean, yep. yeah, but, yeah, I'm fine with it. I miss face fetters. A rest is cool. It'll be terrific and limited. Enjoy it. Oh, whoa. The, I, oh, they made it uncommon? Yeah. Aw. Well, I mean, you know, it's like probably the best white removal spell. And you can't really give them a ton of pacifisms. They already have a ton of detain. Yeah, I mean, detain like is like their mechanic, so it's on yeah. all their commons, so you can make That's like, true. the enchantment uncommon. Now, Avenging Arrow, this was something that uh, Andrea Schubert on Twitter, um, she's a game designer that I, that I talk to often, and she was noting that this was one of the best, simplest, most straightforward spells they printed in a long time. It's really hard these days <clears throat> to print a spell that just hasn't been done before, you know, mm -hmm. that ha that is simple, succinct, doesn't have infinite words on it. I mean, for example, Detention Sphere, yeah. you know, it just has like all these words on it. Yes, it's sort of stopping infinite loops and things or whatever, but it's not that simple, concise, wonderful ability, which I think Avenging Arrow is. Yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. I. I definitely like it. I think they've made other cards like destroy a creature that's dealt damage this turn or right. dealt two damage well, to or something. There's things that like you know has dealt, dealt, dealt damage to a creature or dealt damage to you. Yeah. For example. Um, oh, it's dealt damage this turn. Just period. Like reciprocate oh, is one wow, thing. Oh wow! Yeah. Because that was sort of like the yep. champions of Kamigawa uh, card, but this is I think just way better. This is yeah deals damage to anything. Just get rid of it. If it pings you, get rid of it. Like you know, yeah. it's just it does. Again, it's sort of this succinct, wonderful ability that you don't really think about. Oh, this card's way better than I thought. But reads beautiful. I thought we were going to be like, yada, 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 it's kind of okay, miserable next. But, like, no, this no. card is making every main deck now. Oh, It absolutely. kills the pinger. Solid removal spell, I get particularly unlimited. Um, constructed, there's better options. Then a three mana after. Kill yeah, it. of course. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's white murder. If and all. I would play it if the arrow was in his knee. <laughs> And the flavor text will have to discuss that in some form or fashion. Now, Bizarre <laughs> Crovod. What kind of creature is that? Uh, it's a beast. That is huge. I like it when it's just like, I can imagine the art description. Just make a thing with legs <laughs> yeah. that scares the hell out of you. And it, like, and it has a city on top of itself, <laughs> and it moves around. <laughs> hey, a turtle carries around the world at Discworld, all right? Like, <laughs> whenever Bizarre Crovod attacks, target attacking creature gets plus 0, plus 2, and you untap it. I guess it's a 2-7 when it's attacking, which is kind of cute. And it has Vigilance. I mean, for me, uh, uh, well, yeah, I mean, essentially, yeah, yeah. this would essentially it have Vigilance. Have vigilance um, I could, would also probably see this more as, like, pumping the Sky Knight to make it a 3-3 three, three and be mm -hmm. able to untap the Sky Knight, um, which would be cool. Uh, but ultimately, you know, kind of a limited fodder. Limited I see filler. it in my sideboard. Yeah, versus, yeah. like, super <laughs> aggressive decks. Turn five, stop everything on the ground. I mean, it's fine against super aggressive decks, but... I mean, it is an upgrade to the 2-5 <coughs> that has Vigilance and things like that. I mean, I wouldn't be that unhappy with the 23rd card in my deck. Yeah, but it the, a card like this, it solely depends on how good your deck actually is. Now, if your deck is awesome, this card is good. Because you want the board to stall, and you can okay. break it with, like, the draw X, gain X into, like, some, like, supreme g verdict guy or whatever. Sure. But if your deck is bad, he's just too slow and, and dirtily. <laughs> if your deck is bad, he ain't going to make it any better. No. <laughs> Let's face it. Uh, Concordia Pegasus. The most awkward two-drop ever. God, but it's awkward. It will see play, and I even thought about it in standard. I'm not even going to kid. Oh, my God. <laughs> It That's why you're here, buddy, because you think about these things that I would dismiss in, like, 12 seconds. Uh, like, like, you can... He blocks a lot of the zombies. He flies, so, like, you can use your... Uh, There's evasion The going blue on. enchantment that gives flyers plus one, plus one. Sure. Which uh, is fine. Yeah. He's, like, an early creature, like... So, like, so I want to favorable find, wins. I want to find something wins, that will trade well. favorably in the early turns against... That's blue and white sure. against zombies that isn't an auger because I want to play a lot of non instant sorceries. Mm -hmm. So his body is actually kind of relevant. Uh -huh. And he holds a pike. Uh -huh. <laughs> and favorable <laughs> winds works with him. <laughs> oh my god, I feel terrible already. Like, it's it limited. How good is this guy limited? Like, is he going to make your deck? No, nah, he's pretty bad. He's pretty bad. He I just mean, doesn't hit a person. If, you're, if you have an evasion creature, if you have a, like, here's a general rule that I have. Flying, first strike, trample, all these abilities are mm. not relevant on a one-powered creature. They don't do anything. Mm. 
Like, they just don't. So your one power creatures have to have an ability that does something. Like, it has to either pump other guys or have, like, soup, like tap triggers, like Master Decoys and... Death Rite Shaman, something like that. Death Rite Shaman, Which we'll get like to that. later. Which is so, also a rare. But um, he... Just flying with one power isn't mm. good enough unless it had like flying lifelink and four toughness. I or oh god, yeah, you, yeah, you're getting greedy all over again. Uh, it's fine. Ethereal armor, as as enchantment based as I was surprised that white and Azoria sort of ended up yeah. being. I I don't know if this card is that terrible. Next, <laughs> oh come on, <laughs> I'm trying to give it some like life here, dude. You just went on about a one three flyer for two. And I had very valid points. All right, and my point is esoteric. That magic <laughs> Kinda is. I think it might be okay. Magic is all about guys and removal spells. So when you enchant your guys, they die, and then you get two for one. Fine. It's fine. <laughs> Keenan apparition. It's fine. No, this card is. It's okay. You want to know the Keenan reasons I love is this? Good. I love this because magic found a way to integrate. The story of which watching a t uh, a cassette might make you die from a really scary oh woman God. seven days later. Oh, it's the ring all over again. It is. This chick is scary. I never want to <laughs> see her. I can't believe Kami. Kami of Ancient Law. Kami just... of Ancient Law was this little cute like monster that I would t I would keep as a pet. That guy was cool. I would have. He's weird. Looking. I don't even want to touch her. We're both. I'm gonna play her, and my opponent's gonna have an enchant like not have an enchantment, and he's gonna be like, I'll play an enchantment. Just get her off the table. So just you're gonna put her... play her, and then seven turns later they die. <laughs> Ah, ah, uh, thematic. Uh, da, da, don't da, look. Da, 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 da. What? It's <laughs> <That's> keen impression. <laughs> Nightly Valor. My favorite thing is I could just see your wife having that same exchange. You're just like at home. Da, 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 da. What? <laughs> I feel like this has happened before. <laughs> That's what you're saying to my house. It. It's weird. Uh, Nightly Valor. Now this is an enchant creature that they did try to make not an instant two for one. Yes, and this card is like the first time that they've really done this. They have done like Flight of Fancy and things like that. They've done draw stuff like this before. But I love this one because it, it it's awesome. It, it's like, it really feels like the, and the, the, this is exactly what happens. This is what this card does in Flavor World. A knight comes in in a horse, gets off, helps someone else on the horse, mm -hmm. and then comes with you. Yep. And I like it. Yeah, it's super awesome flavor. I mean, even way back in, in original Ravnica, I mean, there was stuff like Pollen Bright Wings. I yeah. mean, you know, there were enchantments that weren't just like super crappy or whatever. It would give you value beyond just, you know, what the, the bonus was originally. So this is, again, sort of the enchantments don't have to be instant mm -hmm. two for ones. Enchantments should be able to do good things for you. And I'm certainly happy with that. And yeah, give, making a creature bigger with vigilance and then you get a guy out of it. So if they do get to two for one you, um, you still have something left over. You still have a guy. Like, yeah. yes, I paid five mana for this 2-2 guy, but like at least I didn't get completely blown out. Well, I mean, if you're what, but it depends on what you're enchanting. If you're enchanting a really <coughs> bad guy and they, they, ha they have to kill now your 2-2 two -two that turned into a 4-4, four -four, right. you just won for one to your opponent, and you used your crappy enchantment to beat their removal spell. And, if it's and you're still guy, left over with a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. Expert no, this card is awesome. Limited rating? Uh, r limited rating, I think... Hyper-aggressive blue-white detain decks are going to want these as their five drops and not other spells. I think this is actually a good five drop. At like the top of your curve. At the top of your curve, yeah. Pretty good on the uh, unblockable guy. Yeah, for five example. or six. I think they're five or six. Sure. So Palisade Giant, you know, sort of brings back the angel from oh, Shards of Alara. And like that two five. The Imperial back Archangel. Imp I don't remember that card, but I remember like right when I started playing Magic it was in seventh edition. It was like a two five that all damage or two seven or something, all the damage dealt to you that was dealt to it. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm talking about? Not exactly. Well the Imperial Imperial Archangel was like eight toughness and oh, yeah, she, had, four, eight. she was Shroud. Shroud and you you know, all the damage dealt to you were dealt to her. Yeah. So um, and th that's what this sort of reminds me of. It does, but it's all even your permanence. Mm -hmm. It's just like this guy's never gonna live. <laughs> He's never going to live, but I mean, he sort of just, you know, protects all of your guys all at once or well, protects you, you all. You at once. play him and you alpha your opponent, and right. they're just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad. Like, you have to put seven power on the board and not try to get destroyed, right? You have to, <laughs> you have to attack for seven somehow. Well, they do, or they have or they, the old seven no, damage yeah. in some form or fashion to either your guys or you. Yeah, or no, this card, this card is going to be an obvious, like, you remember that? You remember the little story time where I told you how I like to play limited? Mm -hmm. I will first pick this guy every time just to put the will. misery into my opponents. <laughs> like you, if you set this guy up and you're no. just like, oh, I win, 
and you have no idea how. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, you just have to be able to like protect this guy with some sort of like prevent damage spells too. Now, Phantom General, I pre-ordered this guy from my cube. I have a feeling that this guy may be good. And, and for what it's worth, in a limited environment, in a cube environment where you can actually have a strategy uh, where some of basically my white mm -hmm. in the cube and the white green type of cards, you know, do produce a lot of tokens. There is spectral procession and things in my cube. Um, I don't feel like right now in standard there's enough creature tokens no. to really make this thing awesome. I mean, there's lingering souls, but like, again, it's a four mana two, three, not super exciting. But in the right environment, whether it's kitchen table or whether it's cube, I think that this guy could actually shine. I could see it. I mean, you, you have the drug skull captain deck in standard mm -hmm. that maybe, because it is a spirit, so maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it's, fighting with, it's fighting with Jace. Well, you're fi it's fighting with Talran and Jace. Yeah. As, as a, as a, and and Talran's invocation, which I think is better than Talran. That's true. But yeah, this card just screams casual, cube, fun. Yeah. And again, for me, like uh, at the beginning of every set release, you know, I'll buy a, a bunch of cards that I think may possibly be good mm -hmm. and then may end up being not great at all. Like, for example, my most recent, I uh, went through my cube last night actually, and we pulled out Somberwald Sage, you know. Which the three mana oh, that one bad? taps for three colors. That seems awesome. It, that's what I said. And then you played it and you're like, hey. <laughs> like, because, you know, I mean, every, the, everything has to fall right, and you know, yeah. right in the right place. You have to have something like Primeval Titan or whatever in your hand. Mm -hmm. It has to be out there. It has to not die. You have to not have enough mana to cast that, yeah. that big fatty anyway. Like, you know, it sounds really good, but in the real world, eh, it doesn't always work out. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm hopeful this guy can do some stuff. Um, in limited, like, because there's not a, a ton of tokens in this set. No. This, 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 not all that great. this is just a card that they pumped out there to do... I mean, Something with other cards. Celestia, I mean, is the populate mechanic. I mean, th this is more of a Celestia card than an Azorius card. I think right now we're oh, sort yeah. of in the Azorius mindset. But yeah. like, but I think Celestia might might be able to take advantage of this guy. Yeah, you know, you're right. You're right. Two mana for I the agree. Watch Wolf guy. This guy will be really good unlimited. I didn't think about that. He's going to be awesome. Sure. I'm yeah. excited. Precinct Captain. Favorite but card of the set. What? Well, like, my second favorite card of the set. Oh, my gosh. Not for Do power tell. level, for everything. So, for one... It's a precinct captain, so you get to make a lot of cop jokes when you play with it. <laughs> you're like, yeah. You attack, and you're like, you're on the squad, son. Book them, Tony. And you make it. Like, have you ever played? Like, I, I played a little StarCraft in the last couple of weeks. Uh huh. And have you ever played? Not much. Okay. Every time you make a unit, like the same unit, it always has like it says the same thing when it comes. It to has life. a little cast phrases. Yeah, right? it has a catch. So that's what I want to do. It's like you attack with it, and you put a token. You play. And you're like, welcome aboard. You know, welcome aboard, soldier, or something. You say it every time your opponent's like, God. And you just do it over On and over the again. On the team, like, and sign like, up. You block and you're like, you're going to have to give me that badge. You're a wild card or something. <laughs> and You're going but, crazy. Yeah, let's, Get let's, over here. Let's talk about the actual card. The actual card. Put a Spectral Fright on him and see what happens. Like, I, I, I want to do that. I want to Silverblade wow. Paladin him. Mm -hmm. um, he's a first striker, so he's good against all the zombies' early aggression starts. Sure. As well as they can't block him, so you get to make defensive creatures. Right. So I just want him, and he's a soldier for War Falcon. Hmm. All, all of the creatures. So I want to play like Dried Militant, Precinct Captain, nice. War Falcon. Uh, the other two drop I want to play is... Uh, Something that's really Thalia. awesome. Thalia. Thalia. She's sweet. Yeah. Silverblade Paladin for your three drop. You know. Yes. Yeah. Silverblade Geist, Spectra Flight. Spectra mm. Flight up and, and Elite Inquisitor. Who can beat a 4-4 four, four First Strike Vigilance? Oh, no my one. gosh. That's scary. Uh, you know, Precinct Captain to me, I mean, he's also in there, the champion of the parish and the whole bit. You know, he's a human. He's going to be able to pump him that way. Mm. And it's just, you know, I, again, I was just telling a story about a white weenie deck. So I, I love all good small white creatures mm -hmm. with lots of value. So in the in the sort of era of Knight of Metagrain, which, like, hasn't been reprinted, you know, ever since it came out. Because well, that card was insane. insane. How many insane. games were you like, all right, I stabilized. Now how do I deal 32 points of damage? Knight <laughs> 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 Metagrain is awesome. So that's what this card sort of reminds me of, you know, the Knight of Metagrain-esque, you know, lots and lots of yeah. value cards. Um, rest in peace. Pushed? Was it pushed? Over the cliff. I'm tapping out with Get wizards. out of here. You've finally done it to me. Them creeps, buddy. The worst they part creeped about it. is it's not good against zombies. It just isn't. Zombies is so aggressive that yeah, it's not like even good against them. Yeah, you're just going to do this, and you're just going to be like, all right, yeah, rah, all right, rah, I'll hit you. Rah. I'll hit you with all my awesome cards, but it beats all the strategies that are good against zombies, like Reanimator. Oh. Why, wizards? Why? Why I did you do it to me? I mean... You rest in peace, and then you supreme verdict. I mean, nothing's going to undie. No blood artist is going to yeah. be triggering. Like, 
I, for what it's worth, I mean, when they give Flores previews, mm -hmm. development is pretty sure they're going to be constructed worthy. Well, th this is And they did give this to Flores. Yeah. yeah. Like, th this was pushed. They did this as yeah, much no as possible. Yeah, no more Morbid. Right. No more, yeah, Triggers. No more like, Undyne. No, none of that stuff. It's it, This card is not only going to be pushed in this format, but think about it in Legacy. Like, oh, resolve it against Rug Delver. What are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Rug Delver's dead. <laughs> the deck is dead now. <laughs> nice mongoose. Abrupt decay. Rest in peace, oh. Supreme Verdict. The deck is dead. Everyone just give up on him. It is done. Out so, the door. So happy. So happy. Yeah, it is gone. I, I want them to kill Delver in every format because Counterbalance, Delver. see ya. Bye. Bug control, you are in. Get ready, soldier. Oh. You're the new recruit. It's gonna be so good. Bye, you just got more expensive. Yeah. Like, man. This but this card does a lot of like really it's a it's a scalpel. It just cuts things right out. And it's one of the best ones they've ever printed. Yeah, they pushed it really hard. Yeah, it's by far one of the best. And But I think, you know, like it's one of the thinkings that uh, Wizards is just like, well, you know, we, we push things and then we give them, the, we give you the tools to make sure that all this stuff doesn't happen if you don't want it to. You know, yep. you have craziness happen, but you have you have the stop gaps. Well, you I feel have like the, they, have, they, they have more control over what's going on. The safety valves. Because for the last two years, Wizards is really actually good at this. For anyone that just started playing competitively for the last two years, you'll act, you actually like probably sit there at home and you're like, Wizards really isn't good at their hate, counter hate, or hate uh. and, and counter hate stuff because they did not know how good Blue White Tempo was going to be for two years straight. Yeah. Well, we're done with that. Blue White Tempo is fine, but it's 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 so far they worse than it. now. Right. And we're back to actual magic, where you have hate cards that actually matter, mm -hmm. like. You, you, you know. I played back in the day when there were no safety valves. Yeah. Back in the day, or they would print safety valves so late, like Kataki came in Saviors, well, like after I mean, Affinity I, just destroyed the format. I just like that they're, <laughs> I love their safety valves against fairies. It's like, great simple second, I'm like, it's not even good. There! It doesn't even do anything. <laughs> nice gnarled mass, thanks. Yeah. Died of friggin' <laughs> misbind clicks. Oh, I can't what? Oh man, I can't counter that. Good thing I don't care, and I'm gonna ignore it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. Sure. I guess I'll fly over it and kill you now. Like everything yeah. flies, and Obst that don't. Obstinate Baloth for Jun. Jun players are like, oh, that was hilarious. Oh, we have mirror mech te technology <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Who has more of those? Great. Yeah. <laughs> like, still not gonna stop me. So, rest in peace is a fantastic card. We'll see lots of play and lots of formats. Yes. Security blockade. You know, it's uh, it it does. It's again. It's it's very flavorful. Flavorful for me. It's um, you know, it's an enchant land. It, it adds a guy. Like you know, for me, some of these cards are all made to to sort of tell a story. You know. Yeah, this card's awesome. And the story is, you know, like somebody is is stopping you from entering this place and is going to prevent damage in the future. So. Yeah. No, I love this card a lot, and and I love that it goes on a land. So you can't use it every turn. Right. There's going to be some like weird like oh I don't want to take extra damage so you get, you have to play but you get a knight out of the deal. Right. So it's a three drop even though you can't use it right away. It's a three mana two two quote unquote. And but but the thing I like is it's a guy early in the game mm -hmm. that does his own thing but now your land later in the game also. your opponent can evasion you for to you to you to you you're right. dead. Oh, I'll take one. I'll take one instead. And if you I'll have multiples, instead. it's going to be so hard to do Ooh. anything. Yeah, there's and a like, reason this card's uncommon. The 2-2 two -two isn't that good. The prevent damage isn't that good. But together, it's like a good magic card. Yep, some parts, the whole bit. And you have to look at it like that. I bet a lot of people are like, no, this card sucks. But because it's subtle and subtle, it becomes in a powerful effect. I agree. Seller of Songbirds. I love the name. I love the art. Oh, my God. <laughs> this card is awesome. <laughs> card is sweet. <laughs> I mean, it's... Three mana for you know a two three except they kind of split the parts and like one has evasion and is a it one helps, one it helps get your populate going. Is it one two, yeah. I mean this is more of a Slesnia card than an Azorius card, yep. but but ultimately you know it makes tokens. That's what you want to do and that art man, the art sweet. Crazy bird lady. I'm gonna call it now that this card won't see much play. Nah, I mean in limited. No, I don't think it'll see much play in limited. Yeah, I mean it's not exciting. It no. might be your twenty third or if you're sort of playing the populate deck. Yeah, but if mm -hmm. you're playing the populate, you probably have populate cards and yeah. and better tokens, right? Uh, yeah. Making well, a again, one one twenty second, twenty third card when you need something that makes tokens. The only reason I don't like this card is because I think the populate deck is going to run a lot of the put a bird and populate card into it, yeah, and it already sweet. makes a bird, so you don't need the bird in play because yeah. you already have the bird to populate onto. It, it does feel like you know why doesn't this card do something with birds? You know, like if the art is that flavorful, there's the crazy bird lady, and like all she does is bring a bird with her. Like she doesn't do anything. She doesn't like. Pay Mana to make a bird. Have you ever walked down stuff? and saw a crazy bird lady? All she has is her birds, man. I know, but she doesn't. She only has one bird. Look at all the birds in the picture. One bird? Because she ate them. Because she's crazy bird lady. 
Moving on. <laughs> Soul Tide. <laughs> Soul Tide. Now they got detained, so like everything that tries to stop creatures or non-land permanents generally just gets pushed uncommon. Like arrest, you know. Yeah. Arrest is uncommon. What? Like Soul Tide is uncommon. What? But you know, it just makes you pay other mana cost over and over and over again. I, I always dislike cards like this because like it always seems kind of me. I mean, it will kind of be cool in the early turns. But you're using a card to kill their card, and like a one for one, okay. Yeah, it, I mean, it it might actually be good. I, I. The, it sort of the stops jury's them. out. The jury's right. out. The jury's out. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, you imagine scenarios like they play their six drop bomb, you play soul tithe. Now they're paying six mana every turn because they don't want to yeah. get rid of their cool card. Um, but you you're, know, you wasted a card to do this. Sure. So but, you're down a card. Right. But I mean, let's, let's say for example, Asperia, Right. They got lucky. They got a sweet guild leader, and you're not going to tag into him anyway. But they're not going to be able to play much because they're paying six mana every turn to make sure he still he lives. But because it can't kill it, it's probably going to win the game. And yeah, the problem is that it can still attack. You get to choose. The problem is, is your opponent gets to now make a decision. Yeah. And you don't want to give them decisions. Any card in Magic that lets your opponent make decisions has usually been... Well, made. it depends. Like, there's two... There, it's a double-edged sword. Sometimes you want to give your opponent the most decisions, but this card makes you, like give them a decision. You don't get to make a decision. You don't get to kill their creature. It's, you are browbeating your opponent right now. Pretty much. Yeah. And browbeat has never been a constructed yeah. all-star. Sphere of Safety. Now, this is this was the card that made me think that the one, the crap, you know, the crappy little one white enchantment that gives it plus one, plus one in the mm -hmm. first strike for each enchantment control could actually not be 100% jank. No, I think... Because this no. card encourages you to well, play no, more and more. Well, that one's jank. Yeah, that one's, that one's bad. But Arrest and Pacifism and Bonds of Faith aren't. I think this card could see Constructive Play. Marshall's Law, this card. It. I mean, yeah, th there's there's a point at which like that that mana payment becomes a problem, becomes an issue. Like, Especially with the decks that run 21, 22 lands and they run a swarm of creatures. All of a sudden they have three lands, you have three enchantments, they can only attack with one guy. Yep. I mean, they don't want to give you like Ghostly Prison all over again, which no. was probably you know, too good just by itself. Well, but yeah, Ghostly Prison... <laughs> Yeah, that card was fair. Uh, you know, but you play a sphere of safety. You play two sphere of safeties. Like, you're well, the game's over at two sphere of safeties. At dubs, you're in trouble. Yeah, this card is really good. Uh, the only I think it has constructive capability. Oh, for sure. The only problem I have with it is zombies then can just be like, all right, well, I guess I'm just killing all my own zombies and making you dome you for life loss. Like, they, rest they in peace is an enchantment. Eh. Eh. All right. Well, we found the answer to zombies. <laughs> Wait, how do we kill them now? With big, huge flyer thingies. Oh. Yeah, like Sunspire Griffins. <laughs> yeah, three mana, two, three flyers, get you. Chapel Geist, I love when they reprint a, a card from the last set. They're like, that was a really good mana cost. Let's do it again. One more time. <laughs> yeah. Why not run it back? Uh, I really like two threes for three flying. Yeah. Uh, and I like that they cost two white, so you have to be dedicated on the white package. Sure. Just because two three for three is actually very high on the power curve because it's going to block the two drop and then attack them. And it's subtle, but... You stop two damage with your evasion creature, mm -hmm. which is great. He can like stay on the defensive when they have like the early push. He can go aggressive. A two three for three flying is evasion. Exactly what one white white it should should cast. And I, agree. I love it. This is one of those like it's sort of like your core like basic standard magic card. If they kept printing two white Nicolas, two three flyers, and yeah. like every set, I'd be okay with that mm -hmm. because like it's it's a nice benchmark. It's a way to say that like magic is right here. Magic is like this is the perfect mana cost with the perfect evasion or the perfect ability and the perfect power and toughness. Well, I do think you know in about three years it'll have to be a three four for three. You know with magic inflation and all that. Uh, man, magic inflation that's a thing now. That's totally a thing. Yeah. Yeah. See also every mythic ever. Trained Caracal? That must be a cat. It's a kitty. Well, I mean, it's a creature cat. No, 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 but a, a Caracal. A Car yeah, sure. It's probably a very fancy name. Um, I'm Southern. Uh, and I'm stupid. <laughs> he got no ski, he's just Northern. <laughs> uh, one wife for one, one lifelink. <laughs> this boring is the part. part is boring. Right. One power ability that yep. for one power is eh. One mana. These are rules that I have. If they don't have an awesome ability, you just can't play them, and lifelink is not an awesome ability. It's not awesome it is enough. on a 10-10, not on a 1-1. One, one. Woo, it is. All right. Fencing Ace, 1-1 one, one double strike. Now, we talked about this. No, this there card is an awesome ability. Yeah, no, no. Well, but what I'm saying is we talked about a 1-1 a one, one double strike. Uh, at the time, uh, I'd, I'd either I didn't, <gasps> you know, 
Nope. Oh, I forgot nope. about this. Yeah, we forgot. No pies today. No pie today. Damn, nope, nope, we'll nope, do nope. it later, boys. Well, I think I want to see Boros. Like because oh, yeah, we have to wait for Boros. Because the 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 uh, the thought was a one white slash red hybrid, so just one mana for a one one double strike. It could very well be legendary, and I can actually see this being the precursor to that. You know, here's the two mana one one white, you know, double strike. But for just one mana, you get the same abilities, but there's only it's legendary. Yeah, we'll see. No, no pies. Not now. We'll see. You have you have until uh, yeah, still gate crash. crash. We have till gate crash. Wizards they still maybe get it with food products. I bet it's in the list and they're like, mm, all right, we want to see it. All right, sweet. <laughs> one of your one of your like big fans from WotC is just like, gotta get it out of the set, gotta get it out of the set. Yep, <laughs> gotta see it, gotta see it. So, but this guy is is pretty terrific. Rancor. Oh, you can you can build your own monster with this guy in ways that few other cards let you do. Yeah, the the worst is uh, it dies to the initial. Um, Tragic Slip, which I think will be big. True. And here's a little tip for everyone. At, when is this going up? Uh, this will be up next Monday. <sighs> Before Cincinnati got, boot. Nope, dude, you sorry, can't, can't give it to you. Oh, all that sweet, sweet sorry, tech. I'm sorry. But, I like, got, Champion I of the Parish. Cincinnati. Champion of the Parish, Fencing Ace, like, you know, some awesome three drop. Like, yeah. Silverblade Paladin isn't as good anymore because the guy's already got double strike. Uh, but well, you do give your Champion of the Parish double strike. This has to, this won't go into a Champion of the Parish deck. It'll go into, like, a green-white, like, Aggro. base green-white, or, like, just to give the pumps. Rancor. Pumpy, yeah. pumpy, uh, Celestia Charm, which is terrific. We'll get to it later. Yeah. Um, yeah, it does some work. Yeah, I like sure. this card. Um, Exalted. Limited? Well, it's a double striker. It's if there's double ways striker. to pump him that are that are relevant, maybe. But right now, More he is the a Celestia card. He trades with 2-2s, two so it's fine. Right. He's just a 2-2 two -two for 2. Look at him like that with an upside. So he is definitely playable. Right. He's just a bear, quote unquote. Yep. But yeah. And again, and we've talked about this for other double strikers in the past of where Wizard has gotten more and more comfortable with just lowering the mana cost on double strikers. I think they've realized that like double striking isn't just like the end all be all ability. Yeah. Like back when Magic first started, they used to print like land walkers as rare mm -hmm. and like all the land walkers were just supposedly insanely powerful and never saw like play ever. Like the first double strikers were like one ones for four or something. Yeah, yeah, they were infinite mana because yeah. they were scared to death but like as time has gone on they're just not that powerful how are they scared to death of these cards and they're like batter skull this seems like a reasonable magic card fair card <laughs> <laughs> oh stoneforge mystic yeah thanks for reprinting natural order uh swift justice well there's a pump spell for you Ooh, it has first strike and lifelink for one mana that's cool i like this card a lot i dig it yeah, it, it does. I think it was Kindled Fury, but it's way better. Oh yeah, well, I mean, giving you that bonus again, like, and this is very much an Azorius card, I yes. feel, because it's very tempo oriented. You're in the race, you're back mm -hmm. and forth, and I not only save my creature, I kill your creature, and I gain life on top of it. I get to do it all, and you lose. GGs, awesome, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of our Azorius review, and the white cards. And that's it, because we're not going to do any more. Yep, yep, we're, uh, we're, we're all done over, here. We're done. We're, we're done. The next four videos are just going to be... Blank. Just empty. Me pieing you over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> Would be sweet. All right, guys, so we will see you back here tomorrow. Padukan! <laughs> for all the Azette cards. For Brad Nelson, I'm Evan Irwin. We're tapping the cards, so you don't have to. But you can if you want to. I always like the fatties. <laughs>